Today, I brought together six random ladies. Five are lesbian and one is secretly straight. Each round, we will ask each other questions and vote out who we think likes the peen. My vote is the only one that counts though, but let's be honest, my gaydar is a little bit broken, so let's see how I do. Hi, my name is Anna and I'm a lesbian. Hi, my name is Rowan and I'm a lesbian. Hi, my name is Maddie and I'm a lesbian. My name is Kiana and I'm a lesbian. Hi, I'm Victoria and I'm a lesbian. Hi, I'm Hayden and I'm a lesbian. This is round one, you have five minutes, and your time starts now. <gasps> Hi, fellow gays. Hi. And one secret, not gay. Where do we even begin? I have a few lesbian friends, but I don't know their culture enough to be able to spot which one couldn't be a lesbian because it's just not my world. Does anybody have a girlfriend? I feel like that's it. I have a girlfriend. Okay. We just had our two year anniversary on May 30th. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. Nobody else? What's her sign? She's an Aries. Mm. And what are you? I'm a Gemini. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, I'm a Gemini. From what I've heard, I thought lesbians are supposed to like always be in a relationship. So the fact that there's only one girl who's in a relationship is a red flag and I think she's the fake. Mm. Oh, what? I'm just, I'm trying to decipher if those are a performative Doc Martin stunt right there. Oh. The reason that only I have them Consignment shop, front window, straight in, my size. Okay. It was meant yeah. to be, so Thrift, yeah. Thrift if it's meant to be, yeah. it's meant to be. I'll accept that. I never get assumed as being gay, and so I did wear my Doc Martens to try and convey, and everyone just called me out for it and thought I was straight trying to pose, so it hurts just a little bit. So Doc Martens apparently are a lesbian shoe. Learned something new today. Doc Martens aren't necessarily just gay, though. You know, they're for everyone. Yeah, vans yeah. are gay, too. Yeah. You have Snoopy vans. I do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're dirty. Yeah. So. Mm. You have some bling. I live in West Hollywood. I like bling. Oh! Yes. What's your favorite West Hollywood bar? I play beaches. You go to drag there? I do. On Sundays? I do. I've never oh, seen you. Oh, bitch, this is getting good. Siren okay. Saturdays or Shark Day Sundays? Siren Saturdays? Mm -hmm. I know the gay bars. I just don't know the lesbian bars. So I'm glad that they're able to confirm and deny when they name all these things because I am of no help. So this is hard. I can't tell what makes you a lesbian. Like what are like, the main things? <laughs> Women. Anything else? What's everyone's coffee order? Oh. oh. I like iced black coffee. Oat milk matcha latte. Nice matcha latte. I do iced vanilla latte with oat milk. Classic. Caramel macchiato. Oh. Alternative milks, we love them. So as soon as Maddie said that she liked caramel macchiatos, we knew. Iced or hot? Iced know. is where they get you. And the oat milk. Question for the masses. What was your gay awakening? Oh yeah. When oh, Chico that's a good would one. fight Kim Possible. And I was like, that's really interesting. Or the scene in Charlie's Angels where Lucy Liu was like dressed in all leather. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Christine Daae from Phantom of the Opera in the span. Yeah. No, Point I of no return. Yes. You've proved yourself okay. to me. Once Anna talked about her gay awakening with Phantom of the Opera, I knew that she was in the clear. I gotta say Layla from Teen Beach Movie. The day started ordinary. Yeah. How did that come out? How old are you? I am 23, but I So you're my, it seems like I came out when I was 18. Oh, okay. no, but that's great. So, what about you? Honestly, it was just like a high school thing for me. Like, I tried out the guy thing, and it just wasn't for me. What, was there anything in pop culture or anything that you watched and you're like, Oh, Honestly, I never really thought flutters. about it, no. But now that she brought up Kim Possible, now that I'm thinking about it, I always thought that Chico was really hot. What was yours? I have two. Keira Knightley is Elizabeth Swan pirate version. <laughs> Try wearing a corset. Oh. And then Amanda Seyfried and Mamma Mia at a very specific point. It was, it was like shooting, a sitting duck, and she goes, oh. Did something for me. <laughs> is it like normal for lesbians to just be assumed that they're straight? Like, is that the commonality? I get that a lot. Oh. It makes me feel a little weird sometimes, kind of like in a clicky way. Do you feel that right now? A little bit. Yeah. I'm sure everybody's <laughs> eyeballing me. I feel like my outfit choice, I kind of thought about it. And I was like, you know, it is what it is. I feel like it's not that obvious, like, you know, lesbians, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, there's not like. Oh no. Already? Uh -oh. I don't even know. <laughs> Okay. Well, 
Maddie, you're safe to slay another day because I chose Aiden. Oh, <gasps> Joey. I just wasn't sure because you were the only one who said that you had a relationship and could have been with a guy. It wasn't specific enough. So apparently being in a relationship makes you less of a lesbian for some reason. I was definitely wrong. I'm not saying you made the worst choice. You definitely made the worst no. choice. <laughs> That's a bummer. Hey, you're the only one in a relationship, so you still win at the end. <laughs> Very true. true. Thank you. Were you guys gagged by my choice? Yeah. Yes. Maybe my gaydar is way off, or my street jar, I, I guess. Why doesn't your compass work? You guys all thought it was Maddie. Yeah, I had a feeling that was it was. I, I, too, but I feel like you like, like convinced me. Choice. Right, exactly. That's why I was like, no, it can't be her. So like that swayed my thought. Did anybody else have any other inklings of someone else? I'm sus of Victoria. Used to it as a oh yeah. Her. I feel like you've been a little quiet. That's my personality. But you okay. live in WeHo. I do live in WeHo. And she knew some of the lesbian bars. I don't know what they are, but you confirm them. So that's that is true. Mm -hmm. That's a connection. <laughs> I've been WeHo strip, so I can name all of them in order. Wow. <laughs> Okay. That's gay. Okay, what's, <laughs> what's everyone's favorite lesbian movies? My favorite's But I'm a Cheerleader. That's a good yeah. one. Just watched it at the event they do at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery last Friday mm -hmm. for Pride, so it was really fun. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Cry every time. Honestly, I don't really know what would be like a lesbian movie. Really? Yeah. I don't yeah, really like, watch like movies like that much. Oh yeah, as soon as Maddie couldn't name her gay awakening in film, I, I knew she was the straight one. Most of us usually grow up watching those films over and over. It is suspicious that Maddie doesn't know any lesbian movies. Sorry that I won't watch a lot of movies. Just because I don't know a lesbian movie doesn't mean I'm not lesbian. More of like a TV show kind of girl. I was hey, gonna say, okay. can mine be a TV show? Sure. Like Bly Manor, Victoria Pedretti. I'm actually pretty in love with you, it turns out. I mean, I count like San Junipero from Black Mirror to be a lesbian yes. movie. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. Cultural reset. I don't know basically. any of these movies, so I'm <laughs> yeah. just gonna take your word. What did you guys do for Pride? I've gone out every weekend for it. I did WeHo Pride, um, the Hollywood Parade, and then the Universal Pride Takeover was so much fun. There were no lines for the ride. How do we know you're not just an ally? <laughs> That's an I have a drag queen's name tattooed on my arm, and I have Lady Ooh. Gaga tattoos all over my body. Which drag queen? So uh, Alaska. Oh my god. Like, What's your favorite Lady Gaga song? Either Gypsy or Replay. Okay, those are good. Does anyone else have a favorite Lady Gaga song? Oh, um, so many. Alejandro. I'm about to go to my sixth Lady Gaga concert in September. No. So. I'm going to the Medical Ball. Ball. Yes. Dodger yes. Stadium. I'm going to so die. Is Gaga like a queen for the lesbians too? I think oh, she's yeah. just a gay all the queen. Yeah, she's yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, when did you all come out? I haven't officially come out to most of my family just because they're not oh, okay. great with it, but um, all my friends know and all my family that's like closer to my age knows. The first time about 16. Yeah. I've been out to like friends since like 17, and then to my parents I think I was about like 20. Okay. I was in like senior year of high school. I kind of grew up with like a really liberal family, so I mean, I just talked to my mom about it. She kind of helped me through and stuff like that. Um, I grew up in Jersey, so it really wasn't like. Yeah, I grew up on the East Coast too, so, so it's, it's just yeah. different because you don't really think about it that much. It's just kind of a thing. I don't think it was till like college where like I really actually kind of started to experiment. Well, I came out to my friends when I was like 15, and it went so swimmingly. Couldn't have gone better. They were like, "Well, we suspected something. You've always been a bit of a different egg." But I never officially told my parents, but they. They know. I went to prom twice with girls, wore a suit. Okay. And my mom bought me pride crocs. Oh. So she must know. She yeah. must know. I've been kind of openly communicative about my sexuality with my friends uh, since I would say I was 18, but I officially put the stamp on coming out to my family this year. <gasps> Congratulations. And it was so special. It, um, it was just great. And in round two, this round, we're actually going to vote out Two people. Uh. Okay. All right, guys. You got voted out. Anna. Well, it looks like we are in unison because I also voted for Maddie and Anna. Uh, 
five months of all months. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was just us. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, I feel pretty confident we got them all out, but we have one more round, so it's time to buckle down and find the hetero if we haven't already. Hmm. Who is it? Who is it? It's like our nails. Oh. <laughs> that was the worst thing I did when okay, we walked short, over here was looking at our nails. Short and stout. <laughs> we should have done that first. Yeah. One person had longer nails. <gasps> you notice someone? Sorry, Maddie. Maddie had longer nails oh. than the rest of us. I noticed it when we all walked out here. Oh. Why didn't you say something? Yeah, you should have said something. I'm you could have stayed Hayden. He's the rare high femme that has acrylics, you know? Okay. Like, rare, but... Not rare. during Pride Month. <laughs> Not during Pride Month. <laughs> uh, do you all feel confident about each other's... I must be you were song. suspicious of me earlier. Are you less suspicious of I, me? I am. Once I saw that you literally had Alaska tattooed on your skin, I was like, <laughs> I'm convinced. She's a super ally. Valentina. Oh. <laughs> Are there any male celebrities you find you would think would be hunky, you know? Okay. I just, I always say that liking Timothy Chalamet is the lesbian gateway to liking men. <laughs> yeah. Because he's pretty. Yeah. I love him. Okay. Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> if I was straight, I'd go for Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Okay, that's very particular. What's your type in girls then? I like butch girls, but okay. they don't have to be. It's not a hard and fast rule. Mostly I just like girls that are comfortable and just dressed. Whatever makes them feel free, loose, <laughs> like they can flee at any moment. What about you? I like a pretty face and laid back attitude. I'm not super picky. It's very much a vibe to me, but I do I do like a pretty face. I enjoy what the masses refer to as chapstick lesbians. What's that? Urban Dictionary defines it as a healthy medium of dressing masculine and feminine. Oh. Oh, okay. I like somebody that matches my vibe, if that okay. makes sense, in a like totally not narcissistic way. And what has dating been like in LA? For me, it's been a lot of hinge dates. I've been stood up a lot, actually. <gasps> no! I've been stood up like stood up four or five times. I'll kill them. I've had a couple dates, nothing super successful for me. Wait, stood up as in like, oh no! What? That was the juicy yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm so sorry that happened to you. It's I don't think any of us are straight. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah. We have to vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One vote, Victoria. Two votes, Rowan. <gasps> what? God. Wow. Okay, I decided to go the cop-out route because I feel like you guys are the professionals. I thought it was gonna be like a tie or something, so I went with group decision so we could all survive, but apparently y'all had it out for Miss Rowan over here. What the f? I didn't know you could do that. Well, I <laughs> make the yeah, rules. I didn't, okay, I didn't know that you could just pull a group vote. Joey, we need to talk. Okay. Do I walk off now? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. For the low, please step forward now. Oh. oh okay. What? Wow. It was good. <laughs> no. She's an ally, okay? Oh, okay. We are talking a lot. We You're thought that, lot. but <laughs> you really convinced me when you were like, oh, I'm such like the stereotypical. <laughs> I threw off the trail. Yeah. Yeah. The lesbian film and you're that is the, everyone has a movie. I was, I was the straight one the whole time. I tried my best and I was trying to go off of everybody else's answers, but it was really hard since they were super detailed. Everyone named their lesbian awakening except for you, and then Joey votes for me. She couldn't name a single lady. I know, but <laughs> she had that story of being mm -hmm. the stereotype of like you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well done. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs>